good. The books, they were just tiny and they were mostly like books for kids, not for like year six. I had like loads of books in kind of like the wrong places. Are more people coming now to the library? Yeah, I could see lots of people now coming. It makes me feel happy because before no one really came in here. But not every school has a library like this. In fact, figures from the National Literacy Trust say that one in seven state primary schools don't have a library in their school. And since 2010, more than 230 public libraries have also closed in England, as well as many others in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The school library was given a makeover as part of a special project by a group called Chase, who have also helped to update the libraries in 17 other London schools. It's so important that we put these reading resources into primary schools and support them in unlocking their full potential. The National Literacy Trust says libraries are really important when it comes to developing literacy skills. So we wanted to ask children's author Chris Smith, known for his series like Kid Normal and Super Ghost, about his experience. When you were younger, did you have a library? We had some books in our school. It was like in the main hall. So we had bookshelves like this, but we didn't have a separate room that was the library. I think it's really important to have libraries like this. I go to the library and I use it to write my books in uh, and when I was young it was a real escape for me if I was feeling a bit sad, a bit scared. A library feels like a real kind of place that I can just be at one with my thoughts and find an amazing story so it's really heartbreaking to think there might be kids without libraries. The project that transformed this library is now set to expand to other parts of the country with more than 150 other schools set to get new libraries as well and hopefully inspire another generation of authors too.